We are here. We are here. Um, I muted everybody, so everybody has to unmute if you want to speak. That includes Mike. There we go. Are you on a power trip, John? Yeah. yeah. No, I just wanted it to be quiet <laughs> for the intro. That's he all. Does, he doesn't That's like my commentary over the intro. Hmm. Oh, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy Nobody it. gets to see us <laughs> dance. It, it's like our it's our, like our dance intro, the warm up. Just, Get everybody. Yeah, pumped. just the Zoom. The Zoom people got to see it. The YouTube people did not. So sadly. So look, I found my Clarion Live shirt, but look, it's nice. keying through. It's mm. clean. It's keying through the front. See here we go. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's green. Those those are green on the side. So oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at oh wait, it's this side. There it is. See? Weekly webinars since two thousand nine. That just two thousand nine. I thought it's, for some reason it feels like it's been much longer, but I guess that's long enough, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Twelve. All right, let's see. I need to share my screen. So, so I was just listening to the intro and thinking it might be kind of fun to learn to play that on the piano. Maybe I should come in and do like a live cover of our oh, intro. That, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> I think I might redo it soon. Um, so you oh, sure. Change, change the intro <laughs> just as soon as I decide I'm going to learn to play it on the piano. Yeah, uh, exactly. Exactly. So watch it. Mm -hmm. All right. Places uh, we that we can go and we can go places. Turtleback Zoo. It's in New Jersey. This is where you want to go. If you're, if you're traveling from Australia, you're traveling from South Africa, you want to head to New Jersey to the uh, South Mountain Recreation Complex so you can see giraffes. Especially if you're from Africa, you want to come here so you can see <laughs> yeah, giraffes. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, quite. In their <laughs> right? natural habitat of New Jersey. <laughs> of New Jersey. And um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But according to Tara, you see I put her review up here. Uh, she says, we had such a wonderful time here. That's a good recommendation. We got to see so many animals. It was fun to feed the giraffe. And she has a little giraffe picture and see the butterflies. And there's a butterfly picture. She says, we also love the petting zoo and the train ride. So to me, that's good enough. I'm putting this on my list of places cool. to go. Yeah. She also had a caution. Um, she had quite a long review. And one of the cautions was to make sure to wear sunscreen because the sun will beat you down. That was a, that was I would think so. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah. there's a, a little place near here called African Lion Safari, but of course it has far more than just lions there, and you get to drive your car through what I oh, guess is it? kind of like the savanna, but I doubt it. Smaller, <laughs> just smaller. Yeah, just a mini savanna. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd think with Canada they could have a really big one. Okay. You guys well, it's actually, the space it's, first. It's a fairly sig like it's not like you're not driving for hours but it, it, it takes a fair bit of time to drive through the whole thing it's it's not an insignificant amount of property but that's uh it looks like it's bigger than the turtleback zoo but uh, <laughs> uh turtleback zoo is pretty big 20 is acres big? 20 acres bad. i don't know that's not bad is it i wonder i i have to find out now all right anyway um Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody out there in Clarion Live land. This is the Clarion Live weekly webinar. See it and learn it and share it. This is webinar number 619. Today is July the 9th, 2021. Clarion date is 80545. All webinars are recorded and available at clarionlive.com. Join us on Skype. And we are live streaming right now to three Clarionites. We're losing YouTube people. Where oh, no. did they go? Well, it is summer and Friday and... But, you know, whatever. Hey, your host for today's webinar, Arnold, who's not with us today. John is with us today. What does John get today? He gets this. <laughs> I get that. Lisa's not with us, but Bruce is with us today. Yay! Yay! Um, and then Mike Hansen is with us today. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the way, I just looked it up. African Lion Safari is 750 acres. Oh, 250 yeah. of, of, of those acres is just uh, for the driving around area. So and the gift big. shop. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah, 150 <laughs> acres of gift shop, probably. <laughs> also, with this is special guest host um, Andy Wilton. Wow, look at all uh, that. Andy cat. has a wow. following. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like a, this wave of thunderous applause. <laughs> yeah. 
there you are. We have rules in this webinar. All attendees are muted. That means we can't hear you. Type your questions in the questions box. We'll read them to the presenter. If you want to speak, we encourage you to do so. Raise your hand. Type in the question box. Finally, be sure to taste the food before putting salt or pepper on it. I generally agree with this, although at the same time, if you know the person who's making oh, your food and they consistently I just, I and they consistently don't put enough salt for you, is it just, you know, just, just, just there is there is no such thing as simple. There is no such thing as simple. They say less well, is, is more. <laughs> <laughs> they say, I don't know if I agree with that, though. I think the problem with less is more. You, you see, need to know what the, the more There's is. There's nothing you can say that will agree with him. <laughs> you just yield it. Whatever you say, you could look behind us and say, hey, it's It always blue depends. Map. It always and depends. Michael say, well, maybe it's blue, but maybe it's just. Depends. That maybe you're colorblind. Head. You never know. Okay. There's so many okay. possibilities, really. I know. Uh, just just be happy you're Why not me. Just, if Where's you think button? I do this, you should. There we go. There we go. That's all <laughs> that out. Wait, whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> well, there's some power back here in, in the back room. All right. We'll move forward on that one. What's up today? We have a feature presentation with Mark Overton on Palm Tree, Palm Tree 11, I think, or Palm Tree, whatever. The, was it 11 or a 2? I don't know. Uh, preview. We'll find out. Uh, coming soon, we don't have any things, but look, if you'd like to present, you can send us an email at clarionlive at gmail.com. You can send a telegram, although I'm not sure where you'd send it to, but you can also fax us for 24 hours. I have a 24 hour fax number. It's a free fax number. If you have to, if you want to present and you've been holding back because you couldn't fax us, now you can fax us <laughs> for the next 24 hours. It's a burner fax number. So That's there, a... and it, it'll come right to my email. So, um, and we'll schedule Brought you up. Email. That's remarkably superfluous, John. What? I'm excited about this. I'm waiting to see how many faxes <laughs> I get. So There's how many no people plus present. one at the front of that phone number. So you, clearly this is, an, this is a, a completely US-centric you know, webinar is, yeah. where you don't even put the international dining code in. No, we don't. Yeah. We don't. Um, next time. But anyway, that's it. But only for 24 hours. So if you're watching this video and it's like... Sunday and you know it's not gonna work. But if it's missed still your Friday, chance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm just I'm just dying to get a fax. All right. Uh it's official. Let's see. What 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 what? <gasps> yes. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Da -da -da -da. Yep, there's gonna be one sometime, but we do know for certain that on the seventeenth of July, which is a week from tomorrow, hmm. Mike Hansen. Will be Set your alarm, Mike. Set your alarm. Yeah, well, I, I, I've actually got to start organizing my thoughts one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully before the 17th. And yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. called it lists and lists and lists, but you need to come up probably with a better title than that. Otherwise, that's going to be it. Uh, I well, I, I, at some point, um, I will uh, give you a better title, maybe. Maybe before next Friday. There are lists, before. and then there are lists. And then there are lists. <laughs> Anyway, so then there's a couple more after that, and then we will hold off for a bit and see if, oh, let's see, 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 if, if we'll be doing this. I have I've downgraded us from a probably to a maybe possibly <laughs> for April because of, of what I get feedback from Bruce, and sometimes he's pretty confident, and sometimes he's kind of like, oh, I, I don't depressed. know, I don't know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I tell you. So we'll see. And then some people are like, oh, do it in September. And they're like, well, I don't know. We'll see. When we just want to do it. We just want to do it. <laughs> right? Am I wrong here? We just want to do it. We just want yeah. to do it. But yeah. we want to have fun. And so we got to do it when it's yeah. the right time to do it. There's no point getting it done. And then no one can come. And no one can have fun when they get here and all that kind of thing. So we're not going to rush it. But we do want to get it done. Because... Yeah. Anyway, April works for me. September works for me. May, June, July, August works for me. <laughs> I don't know. Look at uh, in July and look at Bruce. E each week, Bruce seems to have another layer of clothing on. That's true. I yeah, think, it might be I a little cold right now. It's, it's, it's definitely colder. I mean, we midwinter now, July. This is our midwinter. So, I mean, yeah, no, we wouldn't do it this time of year. It's, it can be wet and cold. But... Uh, 
uh, look, March, April is a great time. September, October is a good time. So those are those are your kind of you get the best ends of the weather. It doesn't not too hot. January, February can be a bit warm for you poor English folk. Come out here. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what the Canadians would do either. Well, mind you, the Canadians are like 50 degrees at the moment, so they're like getting into the spring. We dollars. are the, the <clears throat> ultimate and adaptable. So there yeah. You go. We're just used to all ends of the weather. You could have a 100 degree, spectrum. you could literally have a 100 degree swing this year. Yeah, it's pretty Coldest day, coldest day. I mean, that's just, that's some kind of range. Talking Fahrenheit, I assume. I assume. No, no, Celsius. Oh, talking Celsius. No, Celsius, because because uh, Vancouver was at forty nine point six. Well, maybe weeks. maybe feels like forty nine point six. No, 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 no. Vancouver You're measured the actual Vancouver, temperature. Yes, the actual temperature in, in British Columbia no, went to. No. I kid you not. I kid no. you not. Forty nine point six. Look it up on your Google there. I'm, I'm going to say I think it made the news over here as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know it was very hot, but I'm pretty sure the physical temperature didn't go above 40. I think it was like 39, but feels like 50. I, I can't imagine that Vancouver would be that hot. So I'll look it up, but I, but I didn't see any mention. of. We were told like it was 49.6. We were not told feels like 49.6. <laughs> well, we have this Humidex thing. And you guys have Humidex where, where here's uh, the temperature is, but because of humidity, it feels like this. So okay. we're often told what it feels like. And mm. the concept of Vancouver, which is, on in the ocean basically getting that hot is virtually impossible it just well just you would no think you would work. think we've had 47 actual temperature here in cape town so it's actually we're right on the coast as well we don't have humidity though um so it's definitely within the realms but look it up because that's that's what i heard uh, we were told 49.6 a smidgen or 50 hottest place in the world okay so let's see and the show has reached a new low you know when you're yes. talking when you know when you're talking about, you're talking the, weather. about the weather. We we'll move on and then somewhere during Mark's presentation we'll have a, a quick intermission while we while we uh, validate or invalidate this. Off you go, John, keep going. Thanks. Um there was an Oantis user group meeting this week. Andy will uh, tell us was, all about it. Uh it was only um it was a, a, a quiet one. Um we chatted about um, an, an upload issue in the Chillcat library. Uh, if you're talking to the Thirdlight product, uh, Chorus by Thirdlight, where it uploads uh, images to the uh, the online repository and um, large images, large PSDs, like three, four, five hundred megs, could, uh, could cause an issue. So that's currently being worked on and, uh, and looked at as we speak. Um, we had a, a look and a review at the PDF viewer. Um, thanks, Mark. I think that's in today's, uh, today's content. Uh, and that actually spurred a 20% discount, so you can thank Mark for, for that. And then we had a, a couple of questions of John regarding um, the Classify It, and they were hosting basically syntax editor, hosting syntax editor uh, windows in the docking panes. And also, then we quickly discussed docking panes opening uh, your child windows. But in a in a sequence because carrying I mean, sometimes not like you're opening multiple you know, uh, carrying windows simultaneously depending on the content on there. So um, so that was really it. That was it. Now I want to I want to announce something that Andy told me about the code jock control that's just come out. I think it's available now, right? It it's is. Um, thing. Yeah, it, the templates will be done on Monday. Oh. There's a thing. Uh, England happened to have reached a, a, a football or soccer, as you know it, final, um, which is going to be played on Sunday night, first time in 55 years. So there's no user group meeting on Monday. I will either be getting over my celebrations or getting over my commiserations. But either way, I will not be available on Monday. Okay, so we'll, so I'll make sure that's that's, that's canceled out. That's twenty four hours later, Andy. I, I feel know. like well, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take the time to get the version twenty code job, which John's gonna mention now. So I'm just gonna take the time out of the office, offline, and get version twenty finished because things keep getting in the way. And fix the resizing. Fix the resizing for us all. And fix the resizing. Yep, I'm starting to bring up a lot of my older apps like uh, scripted. I'm working on that now, and I'm bringing it up. And when I resize it, it freezes up. So hopefully, then I will, we can I will fix it. Take care of all that. I'd be very happy about that. So I will cancel 
your Noyantis meeting. And we will see. But the cool thing about this preview thing, because when you hear preview, I always think, oh, I thought, oh, print preview, or they've got a print preview, or no, no, no. You know when you're in Explorer and you have the little uh, preview thing box turned on and you can preview PDFs and just all those kinds of things? That's what this is. It'll preview practically anything for you. That's a really neat thing to have in a Clarion application, I think. Where you can have a doc, you have some kind of document manager in your uh, Clarion program, and you're storing PDFs and all that kind of stuff, but you've never really been able to see like a thumbnail of it, or to you know take a look at any, you know, image or any of that kind of thing, all in kind of a separate uh, preview box. This is going to be this is going to be cool. I think. I think it'll come in handy for us for uh, in various applications we allow um, attachments. I know you have email attachments, but we right. allow yeah. attachments to clients and sites and products. Um, and they could be anything, you know, it could be videos, uh, yeah, yeah, just basically, you know, attachments of any type, so, or various types, I should say. So we're going to be uh, hooking into that uh, for the little preview. We should take some of the workload off for how we currently do it. Plus, they've also uh, included a, a new Windows 10 theme as well. So we are uh, making sure that that's fully supported in all of the controls as well. Yeah, so exciting things, but not this Monday, next Monday. Well, it'll be released. I'll work it out on Monday, probably do the release when I'm back at the office on Tuesday because okay. that's where the release machines are. You know, you know, Andy, you see where it says next week and there's all those question marks there? Yeah, see? people should really volunteer. I agree, John. They, they should. You could fax me an idea that you want to do something next week on this whole preview thing and stuff. That would be kind of neat. <laughs> I don't even know I've got yeah. a fax machine. Yeah. <laughs> well, figure it out. Number. Figure it out. There's free faxes out. You can send free faxes from a free from your fax computer. service to send it to the free yes. fax receiver. <laughs> My burner fax number. <laughs> yes, that's right. They're they're there. I found them. They're all they're they're very easy to sign up for. All right. Anyway, sorry. We'll move forward. I'm just excited about that, Andy. Maybe we'll talk a little more about it. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, no uh, there was an open webinar, and Andy knows all about that as well, right? Do you? Don't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think there was one question. I forget what it was. Uh, but basically, it was just Mike putting John through his paces. For yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was so, there. I I got to, uh, a front row seat. I got to be the proxy driver, and uh, and I found all kinds of speed bumps and issues and stuff, which of course tickled my fancy to, to no end and I had fun teasing John about how he needs to make it even better and I'm sure it will become so much better because of our efforts from Wednesday and if you want to go back and watch all of our tete-a-tete -tete <laughs> and back and forth uh, definitely watch the recording for that one because we all had fun. And if you wondered why Mike is always the assistant to the assistant on the Friday webinar then that's reason why. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the amount of hassle I give to John, I, there's no no doubt that he doesn't want to promote me ever. <laughs> I thought I thought of a nice new feature, by the way, for the classify it because I I created a class yesterday, mm. yeah. and then I had to go and I, was, I said, okay, I need a new method. And I'm going to call it this. I'm thinking that why not type those methods in when you're creating the class and have it do all the procedure stuff, code stuff, all, mm. everything. So it just shows up in the ink and CLW for you. Then you just start coding right away. Because you be typically nice. have an idea of what you want to make, right? When mm. you're making the class, what kind of method you want to have. So yep. just type them in ahead of time, at least a few of them to get started. And it cool. saves you a little bit more time when you're uh, you know, when you start. Nice to have a global find replace for a method name. If you're creating your class, sometimes you mm. create a method and you think, oh, that's the wrong name. I'd like to just rename that. It can just do a global fine replace. Could could do. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> it's not beyond my capabilities. <laughs> see what we do. Okay. Uh, then there was an Ed Talk user group meeting that uh, I was there. Bruce was there. There yeah. was, and in fact, Mike, and Mike was, was there. there I was well. there for a little yes. bit as well. Yeah. Had some had some I'm... issues. They've got one server with a certificate issue. We're still trying to work through and figure out what's going on yeah. there. And then Wolfgang had some questions about SQL Server and opening up the SQL Server port, or more likely not opening up the SQL Server port, um, and and how to do that through a uh, a, th a second tier. So having a web services application act as a tier between the SQL Server and the internet, and, and improving security that way. Uh, Neil said a thing about documentation, and Robert had a question about timeouts, session timeouts, and changing session timeouts per user, which we can do. So a nice and short one, actually, and uh, some good questions. 
and hopefully we'll be able to report back next week what went wrong with Mike's one. Wouldn't that be nice if we have that solved? Mm. Yeah. All right, that's it. And again, next week, nothing coming up. Um, you got the fax number, so let me know. <laughs> We're here. We're at the feature presentation. Martin Before Overton. we do that, I, I just, I just want yes. to retouch yeah. this comment on the weather because I found out what the real story is. Vancouver, sorry, just a high of, uh, I think it was like 31 degrees was the highest they got, which is very hot for Vancouver. Victoria, which is on Vancouver Island, Vancouver's on the mainland, Vancouver Island, got to 39.6. The one you guys are thinking of that got to 49.6 uh, is actually a little community called Lytton, BC, which is much further inland. Uh, and, and it's about, uh, it's basically in, in, in a, between a couple of different mountains and it's very arid, tends to get very, very hot, 49.6. And then by pure coincidence, a couple of days later, there was a massive forest fire uh, and uh, the entire town's gone. So oh, it got really lucky. hot, really, <laughs> really hot. Mu probably much more than 49.6 is my guess. So, just thought you yeah. might find that interesting. Sorry for interrupting, but it, it felt like it was worth yeah. sharing. There we go. Over to you, Mark. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, gentlemen. Let me oh. get uh, the correct screen um, showing here. Do you see that? We do. Mm -hmm. It is 11. Okay, good. All right, Palm Tree 11. And uh, um, it's been a while since I've used PowerPoint, but, um, and I didn't do it long. I've got pretty bright sun that, uh, that has used it in the past. So he did assist me with this. Uh, so I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm also uh, very grateful that, um, you've allowed me to take this time to, uh, to present this, to preview this. Um, I'm really humbled because you guys, um, to me are the best of the best and, uh, I've watched your webinars for for um, for quite some time now, and I've uh, learned a lot. Um, and I want to thank you for that. Um, to begin, um, Palm Tree Eleven Preview: um, Safe, simple, and secure for Windows Ten. Now, um, um, it was inspired um, this year, um, March 20, uh, 2021. Um, I do have a, a website that's kind of a work in process. Um, it's developed in Clarion 11.0, but I'm working uh, towards 11.1 uh, uh, for the release because of a number of um, uh, fixes that were applied that I'd like to avoid in the future. Um, the artwork, um, I did the artwork, but I do want to note out to Bruce, um, um, I did like your simple palm tree. Um, that uh, you created uh, in one of your sample apps. So, um, but I couldn't use that. I had to come up with my own. So I'm not a great artist, but uh, I created this. Um, just a little bit uh, uh, about me. Um, I'm, on, my, on my income tax, I put programmer. You know, I think we all have different kind of labels that we give ourselves, but uh, developers, architects, engineers, um, I, I just consider myself uh, an old-fashioned programmer. Um, going back to uh, circa August 1991, when the first um, PC was uh, developed by uh, IBM, um, I'd actually been uh, um, working in uh, the healthcare industry and, and kind of the PC guy. And when I saw that thing come out, I knew we in the, the hospital were going to purchase that. <clears throat> so um, I figured I'd buy one myself. Um, so um, uh, my company I established back in uh, 2014. Um, I was in Hawaii at the time, uh, working for a healthcare company and kind of surrounded by palm trees. And uh, one day at uh, work, I just decided uh, I wasn't going to do that anymore. And I spent uh, three months of my remaining lease in Hawaii um, coming up with uh, ways I wanted to uh, future uh, develop uh, products and, and create. Um, I started out as a music major when I was uh, in uh, high school and early college and uh, couldn't make any money at that. So I turned to uh, programming. Um, in my uh, safe, simple and secure for Windows, um, security is really um, my top priority. It's, it's a number one objective of this product. Um, and the reason why uh, is because I've, I'm a retired uh, cryptologic technician 
um, with the United States uh, Navy. Um, I spent uh, um, years from 1973 to 1976, 1996. Um, and then my job was to keep uh, the nation's uh, top secrets um, secret. Um, I started programming uh, back in 1973, uh, the old fashioned way with uh, cryptographic uh, plug boards and rotors and uh, we use key cards. So um, that's why security has been important. And uh, I do um, enjoy each of the, the sessions that Bruce does give and uh, on security. And I've implemented uh, his technologies uh, from his company um, in my product. Um, so onward. Um, I have to thank many companies. Um, uh, Palm Tree is possible only because of these companies and your technologies. And I know, gentlemen, uh, your companies are on here and there's a number of them. So, so we today write applications. When I wrote my first application, I bought the PC and I bought Microsoft COBOL. It was logoed as an IBM PC COBOL. Um, I had to develop uh, in COBOL uh, a screen painter. Uh, I had to develop a relational database because it didn't exist at that time. But now I can take advantage of, of brilliant uh, technologies that uh, your companies and other companies um, have created um, to put together something that uh, can be, uh, uh, be used and uh, useful. Um, there's always a story. Uh, so where did this idea come from, this uh, product? Um, well, COVID, COVID uh, homeschooling uh, kind of uh, was the original uh, uh, reason for me creating this product. I have uh, uh, four sons and I have one son as a granddaughter and uh, she's a third grader. And uh, she was um, tasked um, as a third grader to start online schooling. Um, so she had to find links and uh, had to use a browser and uh, had folders and a desktop. And um, she had to do things called iReady reading online. And she had to have virtual meetings as a nine-year-old. Um, she had links to all these videos, uh, YouTubes. Um, so a lot of complex technologies, concepts, overwhelming for kids, but even adults that don't understand technology. I had a conversation at a family get together with family member the other day and uh, and she's uh, um, um, an older uh, uh, adult uh, that uses computers but still uh, even at her age finds it difficult to use the technologies that we have on our windows desktops that we uh, have to use every day so to help her with some of this my son and i uh, we try we try to get things we wanted to help solve this problem because she had to go to school and she had to have all these links and she had to attend. So we tried uh, everything. We tried making Excel spreadsheets with hyperlinks in them. Uh, we tried uh, um, multiple computer screens. She started out at a, on a Chrome uh, workbook they gave her from school. Um, but we moved her over to Windows and um, tried multiple screens. She had to work with Google Docs, Outlook, and Word for typing. Again, lots of things, links, calendars, rem reminders. So it was like we were doing these things uh, with all this technology here, making it actually worse. Like we were trying to get rid of a dandelion in the front yard with a, with a flamethrower. So um, um, I don't think this is a new problem. I even um, express having this issue myself of using all this technology, having all these links. Uh, where do I put them? Um, I enjoy, again, many different websites give me information and, and um uh, things that I need to use in, in my profession um, and also enjoy uh, life travel and things like that. But it just had to be a better way than putting things on my desktop and organizing the internet to be more productive for me because the way I look at it is the terms need a, a, a more simple language to communicate this complex idea. So um, in working with um, Scarlett, um, um, I had to communicate with her and to talk in internet speak. Uh, these are all the things that her teachers and uh, were discussed uh, during the classes, um, the internet, the World Wide Web, uh, URL pages. All of these are foreign words to someone young or not just young, but just not tech savvy or technology savvy. So I came up with a way 
to think of the internet um, in a new uh, frame of uh, a new vision and calling it a palm tree. So what is a palm tree? Well, the palm tree is uh, your view of the internet. Um, and what does a palm tree have? It has palms on it. Um, so those are your links and your pages and your bookmarks and your favorites and your hyperlinks. Um, it also has a coconut or multiple coconuts. So these would be considered your tags, your metadata uh, phrases, the underlines. And something I came up with was milk because um, again, I talked about my internet and I think each of you have yours. There is this big one out there that we're all using, but our view is it's my information links knowledge. So I was able to easily communicate to her. And after I spoke to her about this, she was able to easily repeat it back. She said, oh, palm tree, that's my internet. And palms are, are my pages and, and coconut. I can use a coconut to reference something. Uh, it's on the tree. So um, I wanted to be a language that could communicate in something simple. So here's what it turned out to look like. Um, palm tree is an internet or the view of an internet that, that I have as an individual that she has. The palms are the pages, there's coconuts and the milks helps to describe. Um, so with that, let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna cover in my preview, um, we have our own view of the internet, as I indicated, our interests, our needs, etc. cetera. Um, I'm gonna review uh, the palm tree navigation <clears throat> and I'm gonna highlight some of the other features, uh, palm tree, um, in palm tree that are not covered in this preview. And um, I have a real problem with scope creep. I don't know if you gentlemen do, but um, I came up with an idea that said, I just wanna drag and drop um, links to websites or I wanted to help her organize. And it, it started growing and growing and growing. Um, so uh, there are a number of things that the product uh, will be able to do when it's released, um, but I'm not gonna be able to cover them here. Um, and uh, maybe they're uh, uh, the reasons that uh, I'll have additional uh, reviews or show features in the future. Um, the main content of the preview is really organize my internet with palm tree. So, all the links, um, all the pages that I use and how do I organize it. And I can actually collect additional information. So I'll go over what palms are, uh, coconuts, milk, uh, the information, the data, uh, entry fields, what can I store in palm tree? I'm gonna very briefly go over um, uh, what's called cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin. I'm not an expert at this. This is where my sons said, dad, gosh, if you could create something that could store our, our keys, our public and our private keys. We need QR codes because that's how we manage. Um, and we need a secret that we need to apply. And um, I kind of took that and ran with it a little bit. So you'll see a little bit about that uh, in the application uh, where you can actually have a seed phrase, public keys. Uh, it's a topic for another webinar, but also not just for cryptocurrency. I do plan to uh, integrate this encryption so that uh, you will be able to use it through uh, text messaging. So all your text messages, uh, if you both, you, you and another individual want to uh, share um, messages and have them um, uh, protected, you'll be able to share uh, the private keys and you can share your um, uh, the public key. Um, and you can do that through uh, the use of a QR code. Uh, now, the ways of doing that, I'll tell you Back in the days when I was uh, doing uh, uh, my job in the Navy, um, in the reserves, uh, we worked in buildings that would be in our hometown. So we weren't in a military installation where it was very secure. You couldn't get to the inner layers. Uh, we would end up collecting information and putting it into a registered envelope and then certifying it, registering it, and then dropping it in the mail. So we knew that it was at least protected, follow, you know, being sent across to uh, to the other individual that would need that information. So the way that the, uh, you never never really want to give your private key away. So you'll be able to print it. Uh, it'll be saved along with your record. So uh, I'm going to give uh, an overview of, uh, of getting new palms um, and giving. Um, and I'm going to show you how that the application can be used drag and drop. Um, the get and the give would be considered getting is import is uh, importing and giving is uh, exporting. So again, words that 
import export we know, but for her and for other non tacky individuals, um, a little bit complicated to understand and need more explanation. Um, and I'm going to show the search features. I have three search features. Um, searching is kind of like complex things. There's many ways of doing it. And I tried to give three simple ways, like the fuzzy that comes along with uh, Clarion. I created a personal search that you'll be able to actually uh, create um, uh, if this field and that contains this and that, um, and you'll be able to save that search. And it'll search through the entire uh, uh, file based on uh, maybe the, the coconut or the milk that may be associated with uh, the, uh, the palm. Uh, and another one that's just search everywhere. Just tell me in any file, where is this uh, text? Um, any questions at this point? I don't see any questions, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So okay, thank yeah, you. I really, I really like the concept. It it actually feels like something that I will use because oh, I I've, I've always felt that it's too <laughs> like you know bookmarks all that kind of thing. It's it's not a good way to organize things, you know. Right. So anyway, yeah, thank we'll you. see what you did. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. And uh, again, the scope, even as of uh, last night, I uh, I purchase and um, I don't call it purchasing. I invest in all of your company's technologies. And with that comes uh, the seed code, you know, the, the unlock code and the password code. And the, you'll see where I just last night added that. So because I'm using this myself, so um, so I want to see it collect the things, all the credit card numbers that I have. Stored and again with the use of my table um, and the encryption, um, the super duper job that uh, that product's going to do. Um, it, it's going to give me a, a good, comfortable feeling that using that Excel spreadsheet that I have all my uh, passwords and credit card numbers on is going to definitely go away now. So, so let me find um, where we're going to start here. <clears throat> And I guess it would be closing this. Can you see the logon? No, I think you lost your screen share. Okay, let me open that screen share again. <clears throat> uh, okay. Can you see that now? No. <laughs> uh, oh dear, let's see. There we go. Oh, you got it. it. Uh, yep. So you just log in as guest. Log. Yeah. Log in as guest. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, you're obviously uh, going to see your technologies built into this uh, application. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them in detail. I'm looking more to uh, preview the, the features and functions that are available. Uh, however, uh, the technologies may be another session where I use what, but um, I have to say that there's probably uh, 50 to 60 different technologies from all the companies that I've integrated into this application. Oh, I'm just gonna go off to the other screen here. Oh, I've gotta get something here. It's always in the, in the demo. Uh, let me do something real quick here. <laughs> Whoops. 
We always have this. I apologize. That's okay. All my demos go perfectly, so I'm not yeah, sure what's I know. going on I'm on your sure. end. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, obviously, Mark's not going to be invited back, eh, John? Yeah, I know. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I also, I don't, I don't um, Bruce, I don't know if it happens to you, but this whole feature creep thing, I've, I've never had that yeah. happen either. Uh, I'm just playing it out, and out it goes, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Feature creep implies that you want to do more work, not less work, and I'm very much a less work kind of guy. So, what yeah, do you mean you but know? But apparently I'm not. I just added a feature in Classify you know? as we were talking. Hmm? <laughs> what do you mean you know? <laughs> Cheeky. Uh, well, <laughs> I disagreed. Okay, one second. Doing good company, Matt. We've all done this. All right, here we go. Can we see it now? Yes. All right. I had to do a quick compile for some reason. Um, however, we're on uh, we're on the road now. Um, so um, the the navigation, the standard navigation, we have a file uh, menu. Um, I do have a a system button which I will go over, um, and I have like a, a little mini toolbar for uh, buttons that, uh, or, or functions that the user may wanna uh, get to quickly. Uh, exit palm tree, we've got a, a log out, we've got uh, the login. Um, we also have a Windows Media Player, which I'll demonstrate within a palm that you can actually go and get a YouTube video and then play it within uh, your page. Something that I do often, we're always looking at these technology videos, but here's one if they just wanted to get to it. Um, I do have a little calculator. Um, I do um, have a task manager so that we can go out and if we do need to see something in Windows, uh, more details. We're always looking at performance. I know that I use this a lot if I have a freeze on my application or something goes wrong. So I've made it convenient here. Um, I also have uh, some system information um, that's available about the application. Um, and I also have a, uh, a, res a link to the resource manager. Um, and this is something I thought of um, because of the cryptocurrency um, and mining um, and consumption of resources uh, that one of my sons talks about. And um, so I thought I'd put this in here uh, based on my conversation with him. Uh, so that's available, um, maybe not for the, the average user, but as you're running multiple things on your machine, you may want to uh, uh, see what's going on. Uh, we have uh, a home button, which would be the main uh, navigation. And we also have security, which is all based on uh, um, Sequence 7. So Sequence 7 will uh, be implemented uh, uh, and security will be uh, managed by that uh, great application. So I really uh, appreciate that code. Um, the main application that we're going to review today is the uh, the palm tree. Okay, so we have palms, which are uh, internet pages, bookmarks, favorites, shortcuts, file links. Um, we're going to get, we can add palms to my palm tree, import from a desktop browser, HTML index file. So I'm going to show you that we're going to go uh, to any one of the browsers, and I've tested all the ones that I have. I know my sons have some, um, but you'll be able to take Edge or Chrome or Firefox or Safari. Uh, you'll be able to, uh, we'll, I'll demonstrate exporting um, the HTML from that and then importing it uh, into um, Palm Tree. Um, so once you do get the palms in, uh, you may collect a bunch that you want to share with somebody. Um, you can give them those palms by um, exporting them out to an index file. And that index file can then be imported into their browsers or imported into Palm Tree. Uh, we're gonna go over uh, coconuts. Coconuts are keywords and phrases. A coconut is a reference value and a phrase that can be tagged to a palm. Uh, coconut can be used to search for specific palms. Uh, we have uh, cryptocurrency coins, public, private, key generation. So you're gonna uh, I'm going to go over this is again probably for another uh, session about cryptology and encryption, um, which I know that uh, you gentlemen are 
are far more knowledgeable and uh, especially uh, Bruce. Uh, I really enjoy his uh, discussions on these subjects, but I will demonstrate uh, the creation, uh, the use of a private seed code that will generate both the private and the public key, the asymmetric encryption, um, and also the QR codes that can be shared and that will be stored with the records. So you can carry this palm tree application around on your thumb drive uh, with your uh, uh, data. So we have keys, which is just to manage keys. So, uh, and you can also manage your account. So if you have many, I talked to one uh, uh, vendor um, that says he's got over 200 login IDs and passwords that he needs to keep track of. Well, I have maybe a dozen. So I'm gonna use this to keep track of uh, those. We're gonna see the use of uh, Chromium Explorer. Um, we can access the desktop browser. Um, I do have uh, a meeting and a scheduled calendar in here um, for Scarlett and for all of us, we all have our meetings and uh, I won't be reviewing this particular uh, part of the application, but um, uh, it does do reminders. Um, uh, report writer, so you can create and edit your own reports. You can also uh, export those reports and you'll be able to import those reports. Um, hire is kind of an idea that I had which is to manage worker apps. So this is a, a process uh, where you could uh, have, in the case of cryptocurrency, my son said, oh, well, I wanna get, I wanna have these miners going out and checking the web. Um, so I kind of like needed to make that, how can I explain that? Well, I wanted to hire somebody to go do this work for me. So I wanna hire workers. So you could create worker jobs that would run on the application in the background and uh, go out and do mining, but I also, see where this could be valuable to go and maybe using all the palms that we have stored, go out to all those websites and gather information uh, that could be used in my analytics dashboard. So uh, the application will come with a dashboard um, for analytics um, that people can see in real time their information. My son the other day, uh, I'm watching um, GameStop dad. Um, can I, can you show me, uh, I wanna get a text message when indicators occur that I feel are important, um, that they'll be able to find in palm tree that should trigger me to buy or sell. So I'm gonna add that um, into the application. So uh, toolbar and uh, a little uh, uh, help application um, is, is gonna be available online too. Um, it's very rough right now and has the wrong logo, uh, but uh, this is also gonna be available on the website. So if you went to palmtree11.com, you'll see online user's guide, you'll see this occur, uh, this come up on the screen and you'll be able to uh, uh, see software updates or um, how you use it. Uh, so uh, that's gonna be, be available too. Um, so let me get back to my, um, my script here. Okay, so we're gonna, first we're gonna do, so we've reviewed the navigation, any questions? Not at this point. No, okay. All right, so we're gonna start off with palms, okay? So I have a list of palms, and uh, the way the screen, and uh, this is actually uh, gonna be used as our, our focal site because I think this new Ferrari 296 is amazing. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna kind of focus on cars because I think it's relatable to all of us. And gee, if we could have a car such as this, uh, I, I think I'd be pretty darn happy going on a road trip. Um, so we'll see. Um, to explain the uh, the view of the palm tree, this is our view. This is my view of the internet. This is um, something that I imported from my browser. So these are all the pages that I've been going to, at least recently. So we've got uh, some buttons, and I apologize for the the fonts. Um, however, um, within the uh, coconut here, which is some reference information, you will have uh, it, you can locate the system data. Uh, it will do global translate, so you can have uh, uh, English and Spanish. This is an area that I'm going to be working on. I'm not that quite familiar with it yet, and I need to, to dig in a little bit more, but it'll be multilingual uh, so that you can set up uh, your translations. You can also do um, setting up your own fonts. So if, we weren't, if you weren't quite happy with these fonts here, uh, you'll be able to change it to whatever font you'd like. Um, printer setup, uh, runtime file manager. Uh, chain ledger. Um, I didn't want to call it blockchain ledger, but um, I do have uh, visions uh, in the future of uh, 
And I do understand blockchain um, a little bit. There's a lot more that I need to understand. But blockchain is my first stab at uh, keeping track of absolutely everything that occurs in the system to every single field um, and uh, tracking that. So you can see some things that uh, I did the other day. Um, it doesn't. It keeps track of the old value, the new value, uh, because in blockchain you've got to keep uh, lots of people updated. It can't be one central location. So I'm looking at uh, this not only being able to. Uh, oh, I've deleted some information. Uh, you'll be able to undelete. Uh, you'll be able to roll back changes. Um, but um, it's kind of a, a neat uh, way of keeping track and uh, an audit of everything that's occurred uh, within uh, Palm Tree. Um, searching, we're going to go over that, uh, fuzzy search, um, personal search, and uh, search everywhere. And the list here is fairly short. Um, we've got palms. Uh, we do have a, a hyperlink here. We've got uh, a, uh, um, a selector here, and you can see that I selected that and I wanted to go out. You're able to go out. Uh, did that one page appear on the uh, webinar? Um, we're going to unselect that, untag it. Actually, I have an uh, untag button. Um, we've got a total of 31 palms. We have our descriptions, our coconut, and our milk. So in this case, the, this coconut um, I reference as car, and the milk is some words. So probably a good place to start after that would be, let's just go over what coconuts are. And again, screen isn't what I'd like it to be, but um, it will be improved upon. So we have um, a coconut. So in this particular case, I created one called cars. And my information, my indicators uh, link knowledge, these, these are the key words, meta tags, okay, in the techie terms, um, you know, for cars that I'm looking at, Ford, GM, Tesla, uh, YouTube. So um, this is, these are gonna be tagged onto the record. Um, and you can add as many as you want. Um, this is going to eventually have an import export because I found that Google has like 4,000, um, what I'm going to call coconuts, uh, words that people search on or phrases that could be added to that. Um, <clears throat> let me, um, one thing to, to know is that um, uh, when you do make a change to a record, the system will remember that. And even if you import, new ones, which you're going to see that you can um, erase all the ones that you have out there. Uh, it will keep anything that you've edited. So in this particular case, um, I have uh, the Ferrari. Um, so I've added uh, on this record, uh, official Ferrari, Ferrari website. I can go to the website. I do have cryptocurrency turned on so that if I want to, let's say, buy um, currencies for this company, um, I'll be able to do that. Um, Coconut is car. And this is a nice little drop down, so I can I can search on this and enter, and it'll start choosing um, um, from the 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 coconut table. Um, it will take and automatically fill in the words or the milk that you've assigned to your page. You get a description of uh, this particular uh, information uh, credentials that I've included. Um, I did see that. Uh, um, Capesoft did release a, a new feature in there. Uh, I do use the paste, uh, pass paste, a uh, new feature which will allow me to actually look at the um, password. But I have it uh, with a little eye right there now. Um, so this is your, your update form. Um, so I'm going to go over to some of the tabs um, that are involved. And this would be the information that you could collect, OK? Um, I'm also going to, uh, first I want to cover the buttons. You can see that I've got some uh, icons here. This is the old uh, logo. Um, so we're going to go to that. You can actually bring up your page here in um, the Chromium browser. So it's a lot larger. You can also bring it up in your default Microsoft uh, browser that's installed in your system. I also have them here. Um, You've got a number of things. You'll be able to do uh, text messaging, and this is going to be using Twilio. Um, um, I did have a little encryption button here. This will not come out encrypted in the first release, but you'll be able to um, use your uh, public and, and, and private keys for encrypted communications. I'm going to 
I've integrated with a, a product called Third Link uh, because there's a lot of digital media out there. Um, I have a lot of digital media I have that I want to store. Um, and there's companies that uh, I can see that I can use this. I have a couple that have contacted me and said, can you integrate with that? Uh, you'll be able to get to your Dropbox, um, your Google Calendar. Um, you can see there's credentials in here, um, PayPal, uh, QuickBooks. Uh, your social medias will be available through here. Um, I've also integrated uh, uh, Office um, using um, Inside Office Inside so that if you do um, have it installed, I'm working on a way to detect um, if the product is installed or not. So you need Office 365 in order to use this. Um, so if you were to click on that, you could get into uh, Microsoft uh, Word opened up over here. So you could go into your docs. Um, you can use PowerPoint, Excel. Uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, send mail. Um, uh, this and you'll also this will be encrypted. So since uh, I had the encryption button here, so your communications you'll be able to send and receive your text um, uh, privately. Um, you'll have email that um, will have send and you'll be able to get and you'll be able to communicate uh, with uh, WhatsApp. And this was kind of neat because I use this app. So you just scan the code and I could go right into WhatsApp. And what you have is now a, um, an application that you can chat back and forth with using WhatsApp. Um, <clears throat> some of the newer additions that I just added over the past uh, uh, few weeks were, um, I had the notes. So this notes, everything is searchable. All the text is searchable. Um, I have contact information. So contact, um, for whatever it might be used. And I included a number of fields that I found seem to be kind of standard, um, but you'll have your banking information. So you can have your bank account, uh, checking account, routing number, savings account. And again, these will all be uh, uh, fields that are encrypted. Not all the fields will be encrypted. I will, I'm gonna come up with a way that I can let the user visually know that, well, this is a safe field. And this is what I call, you know, all of it, I would like to be secure, but. Uh, where is the additional um, um, security and encryption applied? So um, you feel comfortable with that. Um, software products, I talked about that. I basically added this uh, yesterday, uh, going through all the different uh, technologies and tools that I've purchased. Um, these will be <clears throat> on this as well. Um, and all this information, um, and I know it's a new concept for some um, users of PCs, is the report writer is going to be, we're going to, um, I've written a, a fairly um, simple step-by-step -step guide on how to create your first report. So this will become in handy if people want to keep track of data that's in their system, they can write their own reports. <clears throat> Moving over to your multimedia tab or your Palm page tab, you can see that you actually have a visualization of the page and it's fully uh, functional. Um, you'll have a multimedia um, where you can go out and uh, we're going to go out and get something um, desktop, uh, let's see, um, no, we don't want that. Palm tree folder. Um, this is kind of neat. Um, I studied abroad in uh, I, it seems to like uh, hobbies that are difficult. So I decided to learn Mandarin Chinese. Uh, so, and I also decided to go to China to learn it. So um, I was, uh, um, one of our trips, we got a chance to go to where the 2008 Olympics were held. And uh, I took a video and this is from my phone. Um, and this is the plaza. And this is at 1130 at night in China, in Beijing. <clears throat> where they had held the Olympics. Um, um, you're seeing um, lots of people are out there. Um, and you'll see over here where Michael Phelps um, actually won the eight, I think he won the eight uh, um, gold, uh, gold medals for swimming. So uh, a little video, so you'll be able to do this. Um, I would, uh, this is gonna kind of grow because right now it's here, but I wanna be able to make it larger. And, Again, I will uh, expand the screen or let it pop out. Um, 
uh, maps. It will be uh, accommodating uh, uh, and have a, a, a useful function for mapping and geolocation. Um, I had written, uh, developed a healthcare application and in transportation, uh, we needed to know with uh, uh, someone traveling or in a wheelchair van from point A to point B, uh, it computes mileage. Um, it'll be using um, um, one of the companies that uh, has a, uh, the mapping application and it will use the contact information or it may use another, it's not um, completed yet. And it will also have the PDF uh, viewer. Um, this will be allow for multiple PDF viewers, but initially we'll come out with uh, the uh, Adobe. And as well, media, um, this is Windows Media Player um, that's installed. Um, any questions about the, the form uh, collection? Done? Okay. Um, what we're gonna do is, okay, we, we've gonna save that. Um, we're gonna move to, <clears throat> let's say we're a new user and we want to um, get some palms. Um, our database is empty. So we're gonna go out and um, um, I've actually exported these already. Um, so we're gonna go to the desktop and I exported some from 7.7. So these are standard uh, HTML index files. And where those come from is um, bookmarks, uh, import bookmarks and settings. Um, this is for importing, cancel. Uh, I want to, um, let's bookmark manager. Um, Imported. These are exports. So I'm not. I'm not going to actually slow down and go to that. I did create this previously because I'm so a little fuzzy on getting to those. But you can go to your Edge browser, your Chromium browser, your um, uh, your Firefox, any of the standard browsers. I've tested them all. So you would pull your uh, and they create this HTML uh, index file. So you could open that. <clears throat> it's going to pull it in. I can remove. Um, all the prior imported records because I just want to start fresh. So we'll import, and it's just imported 30 uh, bookmarks or palms for me. We're going to go to palms, and we can see that um, it's added new palms, okay? And it's kept the original two palms, okay? So we have 33 here. So let's say we received some from uh, a friend that we wanted to import, um, uh, from Safari, we can import those, not remove the prior ones. It's imported 29 more. Now you see we have 62. So it's very easy to get your palms into your application. Um, and all the pages come up, <clears throat> how to install Windows 10 on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, funny because I, I like tinkering with the Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> I did put Windows on it and I put Palm Tree on it and it works great. So, <clears throat> excuse me, even for a little uh, a kit computer. Um, so you can see um, I have all the things in organized in one place. Uh, let's say I wanted to um, now give these palms to um, a family member or a friend or an associate. I can go ahead and say, I want to um, export my bookmarks. I'm just gonna copy, put this to the desktop. And we'll just call this uh, premium. <clears throat> We can export that. It's exported all 62 lines. And can you see I've just dragged and dropped that to the desktop? And now I can open it. And these are all my bookmarks. Now the Dex URL, um, one of my first incantations of a name, um, I like the Rolo Dex. <laughs> so I kind of came up with Dex URL, but it was too hard to explain to people and they didn't remember what I was talking about. So again, another reason for palm tree. You can see here's all my links that were exported 
from uh, palm tree. Are there any, any questions um, on these uh, three that I've covered so far? I don't see any questions so far. Okay. Um, searching. Um, fuzzy search. Um, of course, we're going to use my favorite car so far. Uh, we're just going to use, uh, actually, uh, let's not use 296. Let's use Italy. I think I used Italy. So it'll go out and it'll check. So it found that Italy was, is, is a tag of milk associated with uh, two of the records that I have. Um, so that's one way to search. Um, I can clear that. And let's say I wanted to find uh, Newberry. It'll find Newberry for me. So um, interesting book if anybody's looking at ancient history, but uh, um, I do happen to like to read that. Um, we're going to clear that. So you can see that the fuzzy search might be at. I really don't know what I'm looking for. So my user, Scarlett, being there, I don't know what to look for. I just want to look for Apple, right? Because I'm going to do something, uh, a research on Apple. So there it is. So you've got clear search. Now, we all have our own personal ways of searching things. So I wanted to build in like a little personality to it because we have information and words and uh, even us being techie guys, we have little algorithms of putting things together and saying search based on this and this, this and that, you know, get this. So, so we're going to do a, a personal search and it will come up <clears throat> and it allows you to search all the text fields. Okay. And it's going to allow you to uh, uh, enter a text value. I apologize for the, uh, the, the shade, the highlighting. And again, this is going to be cleaned up. Um, all text fields will be searched. Um, it can ignore case. It can start the beginning file. It can highlight records. Uh, when a match is found, display the data. Um, you have uh, conditional abilities uh, in your query. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start out and uh, we're just going to say we want to look for um, Apple. <clears throat> And it's found one record. It found Apple in there, okay? So, and you can see that it's tagged it. So all the records would become tagged. Um, the tagging is useful because you're gonna be able to do uh, sending. So you may wanna send this to the printer, the file, or email, uh, FTP, clipboard, a uh, PDF. Uh, it, uh, since it has um, Office inside integrated, uh, you could send this to an Excel spreadsheet or Word or CSV or JSON. All of these are at your disposal. So you can send these or you can uh, untag, it untags all of them. <clears throat> and uh, um, you could search that and, uh, and use that. Um, searching conditional, I wanna search and I've set this up. Uh, uh, let's go in here because I wanna actually retrieve something I've set up before. So I've actually set up, uh, uh, I wanted to look for cool Ferrari 296. This is a previous search that I've created. Uh, and this is for my own use. The user won't be looking at this because this is too technical. So uh, we're gonna select this search and we're gonna say, um, okay. And it's found a couple of records and there it is. So it's used on a personal search that we pre previously created. So I can quickly go find this search because I'm always, again, going back to the beginning, all these browsers and bookmarks and favorites, uh, I put things in folders. I put, I don't even know where they are. So now I've got it in one place. And if I remember tagging some information onto it, um, I could find it. So we're gonna untag all. So, um, so there's your, um, your personal search. So you can create as many conditions as you'd like. Well, not as many, you can create as many as I've allowed for on here. So you can look at the different uh, fields and I'm gonna be cleaning the fields up, uh, uh, but you can go ahead and search on those. I just happen to pick coconut. <clears throat> and then there's the, I just don't know where this information is. I want you to search everywhere. So what it will do is we'll go through all the files um, that Palm Tree has, um, as you would search the internet uh, with uh, a search engine. 
Um, it's kind of like that. I'm not saying that I've created a, a PC search engine by any means. This is just a search for, uh, let's go back to 296, um, start. And it's gonna go and tell me, although actually I'm gonna clear the results. That's from a previous search that I made. So we're gonna have to start. Uh, and there's a, all of the um, records in this particular file, and this will be renamed um, palm tree. Um, but if it happened to be in like coconuts, it will go find it in there. Um, um, but this is just, let me find it everywhere. And then you'll be able to click on the record um, and then go to that particular record within uh, palm tree. So it makes it kind of like, I, I don't know what I'm looking for. It's not fuzzy. It's just, I don't even know. So search everywhere, please. And it will go and do that for you. Um, any questions uh, about searching? Okay. I was um, curious. Uh, what, me? I was curious about what your back end was for when you're doing the searches. Are you using top speed or SQL or uh, this is uh, this is top this is top speed. Okay. Yeah, I do um, have vision someday uh, of having uh, a a SQL version of Palm Tree. I I think that's critical to the success of this in the future. Especially, I want to take this application and it will become uh, a web app under EdTalk. So I see this being something that uh, needs to go in that direction because of the content that maybe companies have um, want to use this application and uh, through their employees to help with training or whatever it is. You'll have one-stop shopping, but that company may keep keep those all in one central location. So that's a good question. I appreciate you asking that. And yes, I do want to go in that direction. Um, Kind of a nifty feature that I like is um, is copy because I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to go out. Uh, and this kind of came from my uh, medical claims uh, system where you'd have multiple medical claims and they're kind of redundant. And every month someone is being cared for at home health care and I've got to create a new bill. So I took that technology and brought it in as a copy. So what I did was I highlighted this record and I just made a new copy of it. And it's going to bring it up, and then I can say, uh, and it brings in all the information from that record that was out there, and uh, my new uh, data. Okay, so and it's adding it to uh, the record. So now I've got three of them. So it's just a quick way to say, like, I, I like everything about what I have in that record, but something is different today, and. It'll bring forward all your information, all the contact information, and it just makes another copy of it for you. Um, and it was just a convenient way to, and I don't have to go out to the web again. I don't want to type all this information and I don't want to cut and paste, but I, I just want to copy it. So um, I really like that feature. Um, that covers uh, palm tree, the palms get give coconuts. Um, any questions here before I move along? I okay. do have a question. All right, go ahead. All right, so in, in the palms, if you go to the palms button yeah. there and just click on any of them. Okay, so you've got like the Twilio and the third light and all those kinds of things, and that's where you put in login information that kind of thing right and those those all seem to be unique to each record even though a lot of that information is going to be the same right right like the, right so is is there a central place where you can store this stuff and then just have it copy it to each of these things or i'm just i'm just i don't i don't want to put my twilio information in every time that i want to use it i guess is my right my question right and that's a good question yes i'm i've uh there, there's, there's a couple of things I've thought about here. Uh, one is um, what you've described, which is the central location. You know, the username, password, phone number, I don't want to have to. Uh, one way um, it, to overcome that is, uh, um, is to have some setup, some configuration, which I'm looking at um, having in there um, so that you can pull it up from one central location. Um, however, in the case of, um, so that I agree with you, that would be nice. Um, one way of working around that, if you want to call it that, would be 
to copy it to a new one because you may not be sending um, uh, your text message to the same person all the time. So you could put your phone number in where you want it to go to this. This is going to go to Mary, Mary's phone number from you. And then you could create a new record that's called Bruce's. You're going to send a phone number to uh, text to Bruce from you. Um, so it can be reused. Um, right. Um, so, but, and, but I feel like the username password would be the same. Right. Everywhere. Username I think. Password, right. Um, uh, also, when we think about encrypting this, I've thought that a separate record, because when you give a secret, so let's say you want, you want to communicate with Bruce, and you're, you, you both have a secret phrase that you're going to use to encrypt your data, and you and Mary are going to communicate. So you're going to have two separate records with two separate public and private keys. When you're communicating through here with Bruce, it's going to use Bruce's set of keys. When you're communicating with Mary's, on Mary's record, it's going to use Mary's uh, set of keys. So that was another thing I had thought. Um, instead of just having one with one location, we may commu communicate with multiple uh, individuals using Twilio, uh, especially in the queue. The queue is going to actually have multiple uh, phone numbers, multiple individuals that you'd be sending it to. You may be communicating. You don't have to use the same. You wouldn't be using the same keys uh, for all the same people is kind of where I'm getting from, if that makes sense. Right, yeah, yeah. D these are just suggestions. I mean, as I'm looking at it, I'm just seeing, yeah. I don't want to type in username and password every single time, you know, I'm just going to use it Absolutely. one time. So it's, it's just feedback on there, I guess. The, the other yeah. thing I noticed is that a lot of these tabs, yeah. I would never use. So maybe there would be a way to hide the things I don't, like would never use. Yeah, good point. Uh, and, and leave the ones that I would. You know that might make it a little simpler for me when I'm looking at it. Um, you know, just yeah. just a just a thought, just a thought. No, very good thought. And then that's where I was going to have, uh, you know, set up my system. What do I want? You know, I just want to use it for um, X, Y, and Z. So yes, very 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 good question. Thank you. Yeah, I I'd actually had these in here and was depending on how close I get to August 9th, which is when I want to release my product. Um, you may see some of these fall off because uh, I just won't have time to get yeah. to them and uh, completely test for them. So, yeah, good point. Yeah, um, just along the thoughts of you're trying to simplify it for people. Yeah. And so I'm just looking at it from those eyes because I've never seen this, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I know how it is when you're developing too. You're developing and it's like, this looks great, this looks great, and then fresh <laughs> yeah. eyes come onto it. And it's like, I don't understand what this does, you know, that kind right. of thing. And so, when did you last experience yeah. that, John? Um, Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And, uh, um, yeah, probably going to see some of these fall out because they're not relevant to initially come out. Again, the scope creep. I just like this as, oh, QuickBook people. And so, again, mm -hmm. I agree with you. And, uh, yeah, simple is better. Um, so. Rich had some uh questions and I think we'd have to open his mic to go through them. Okay. Yeah, let's open his mic because he has multiple questions. Unless you want to read through them, but um Rich, Rich, Rich. Let's do that. Because Rich knows what he wants to know. All right. Here he comes. Oops. Okay, Rich, are you there? Uh, maybe he's not there. Uh, I am here. There you are. There it, you it, are. It apparently takes two different steps to unmute yourself here now. <laughs> oh, weird. I might I might have clicked while you were clicking too, and that might have anyway. So I think I'm asking kind of the same thing John was. I think uh, the only thing I, I was putting in there in my question that might be different was. Mm -hmm based on the web page you're linking to say you're mm -hmm. linking to a web page in a palm mm -hmm. uh, I, I know it's very difficult but based on what you're looking at like if you're looking at something in google you could have google credentials or if it's a twilio, twilio you could have twilio stuff but if it has nothing to do with that it, 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 
you know, kind of thing uh, linking to. So if instead of right. linking to a web page, I was linking to a video, it would be uh, the screen would be have a lot fewer things on it. Right. Yeah, it would. Yeah, I. Yeah, I think uh, you you make a good point too, and, and John did as well. But yeah, it's simplifying. Yeah, the Twilio, the messaging, um, that does kind of it's kind of the scope creep that I got involved in uh, myself. Uh, so. Yeah, the uh, um, I, I do think that it needs to be uh, a little uh, more simply viewed. I guess is that what you're looking for? Oh yeah, and I, I one other uh, thing I was asking was, um, would there be a possibility that Palm could read fields from the web page and populate some of those data fields for you? And yes. can it push the data back to to the web page? Yes, that's that's going to be um, that is a, a feature that will come out following because I'm going to be putting in um, uh, parental controls um, into the application. So you can put parental controls into your web browser. Um, I'm going to put those types of controls into Palm Tree um, so that it will detect what the information is. Uh, and then it can also, um, in the case, so that's one thing. So I will be looking at the pages that you have and looking at the data that's on those, or the values that are on that screen. And I also will be doing it for the cryptocurrency in the case where we can go out to coinbase.com and they've got some great video. They've got some great pages that are constantly being refreshed. Um, if you're a crypto uh, uh, investor, you'll be, or, or any currency investor, you'll be able to use Palm Tree and set up your workers that will go out and look at those pages and gather information um, and add it to your database. Yeah. So, okay. which which I'm going to show um, in the coins. Okay. I have one more. I'm got. I got one more. I got right here. Um, I use I use some kind of a bookmark organizer, I guess, online in my browser, and I can group them into different things like. Um, SQL pages, for example, things right. or things that have to do with programming or things, you know, so that if I'm looking for something about Arduino, I keep it in an Arduino group. And right, this looks like it's it's it doesn't do that kind of thing as far as a, a grouping thing. I just have to search for those things. Uh, we're you... gonna uh, yeah, you could go ahead and create let's say a SQL um, a SQL coconut, and let's say it's um, I don't know what would be some words that would be your indicators, your milk. What would you use to search on? Um, tips might be something. SQL okay, tips. SQL tip. tips, uh, uh, fast. Um, Stored procedures. I don't know, there would be different ones. There you go. OK, so stored procedures, you could say OK. Um, so let's go. This is a good uh, time to show drag and drop. So we showed how you can uh, get and give, but I like your question, and I think it's good timing to go out to uh, SQL. Uh, so we find something with SQL Server. Uh, I don't know, Solar Winds. That seems like a name in the news, right? Uh, what you can do is uh, we can drag and drop. And it creates a palm for you, okay. And then, so there's your palm, and we can call this uh, SQL related. Uh, we can add uh, SQL. I wonder if you could grab the page title for your description um, off the website. Yes, I could do that. Um, and again, I'm also at the same time where I'm presenting this preview. Again, that's a good example of I, I want feedback. And if you see something that or don't see something that you like to see, uh, two good questions. Can I get the data off of there? Yes. Can I build these records automatically? Yes. So um, we're going to go ahead and just create this quick one, quick one called SQL. Um, so we can just do, um, and there's your record, there's your SQL. As your tips, fast, personal, um, 
if we wanted to uh, go ahead and create uh, a conditional um, To find that one, we can then tag it. We can run this again. Search. We'll retrieve it. John SQL Pages. Select it. Say OK. And there you go. Is that kind of something that would be helpful? Yeah, it looks like this, the the coconuts are acting as a as a grouping kind of a thing. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so coconuts here again. Coconut keywords. So they're your keywords. Uh, it's a reference value. It's a tag. You know, those are all the phrases. But yeah, that is what's on the tree. So the tree being your palm tree is right. your page. So this SQL is one of the coconuts is a tag that's on that 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 palm tree page. Okay. I wonder so, yeah. if it, it might be helpful for me then it is to have a, a some kind of a grouping. Where it was grouped by SQL as a header, and then all the stuff that's on that's under SQL was underneath that, and things cars would be the next header, and all the things that were yeah. related to that was under that for a view, I guess. If I'm looking here, right? But that's yeah. it, you know, just ideas. I, I'll stop. <laughs> no, I'm glad you brought that up because um, what I wanted to do is it's palm tree. I wanted this to become a tree as well, so you could actually right now it just looks like a browser, but if you wanted to have a tree view of it. Um, you could drill down and mm -hmm. very similar to what I've seen you do in classify it. You can go within, within, within. Um, right. Yeah. I, I thought of this as, as well. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be quiet for a while. Okay. No, no, no. Thank you very much for the questions. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to just briefly go over, um, coins. Um, uh, here's my official website. Um, it's very, a little bit different looking. It gives you more of the information. Uh, gives you more information about crypto coins, your symbols, your name, exchange, coconut. You still have the same ability of buy, price, sell. We'll just go in there. <clears throat> and this would be um, a crypto coin page or a currency page. Um, still have information about it. Uh, um, you have uh, something new on this side. You don't have the video um, appearing for the page. Not as important as you're just wanting to do crypto coins. Um, we have... Uh, a buy and sell. Um, I want to develop uh, or work with vendors that can help me develop an API to uh, allow Palm Tree to uh, buy and sell um, through, let's say, Coinbase or other. Uh, so you can have your stock symbols or your your currency symbols. You'll have your open and close price. These would be the things that Palm Tree would be going out and getting, so that when you did bring it up, it would it would show in here. Um, it would keep track of your bought and sold. Uh, dates um, when you uh, purchased, uh, put any kind of notes you want on here. Um, you also have your login cr uh, credentials uh, for your cryptocurrency. Um, now, the feature that is uh, I've seen and I've implemented is the uh, uh, the seed phrases. Okay, um, when you're trading bitcoins or when you're uh, there's there's a public and private key. Okay, and um, there's this secret phrase that you need to use to uh, in order to do transactions. So um, the keys are, are great, but the codes are easier. Now, I know this is gonna be a little small, but we'll go to the next page. So we could go ahead and create uh, uh, a It's just created the public and private key. Um, does use um, async, asymmetric encryption to do this. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and create the QR codes. And they it's just taken and created the QR codes. So if you were to actually, um, I didn't try it on my phone. I think it does. Uh, if you do have a QR code reader, you could go ahead and read that. It should say Clarion Live is great to learn from right here. Um, we're gonna show larger views because you may wanna share these. Again, we talked about sharing codes. So there's the secret code. Um, here's your public code. Now, this particular QR codes, I don't know that the technology behind it is like 21,000 points or um, 
Uh, but you can see that the private key requires, and you can use the QR code reader. I found that this size, it was still readable by a phone device so that you could send the key if you wanted to use that media to share it, or uh, this will be printable as well. Um, now, so we've, we've gone and, and created a seed phrase, and we've got a key, a private key, but does it really work? We don't even, we're just kind of trusting palm tree. So I've created a little, a test encryption decryption. Okay, so we're gonna say, we're gonna copy this. We're gonna put this seed phrase here. And uh, we're gonna test it. So with this test, uh, <laughs> the demo. There we go. Let me bring it back. We're going to use this this particular. This is my secret phrase. Um, I think the cutting and pasting it causes me issues, so that would not be the issue I have. Is I'm not getting the, the codes over there right now. Um, so we're going to use this secret phrase, and what it's actually done is taken the public key and encrypted this text and created this encryption. And then what it's done is use the private key to decrypt it, to make sure that it's working correctly. So um, does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yes. Oh, okay, great. So this is the kind of proof behind the pudding. Um, uh, this was really more for my testing originally, but um, I kind of left it in there because this will probably be the catapult to where this would be actually a text message um, that you'll enter. You'll enter hello clarion live um learn it see it share it um and then send that message you'll encrypt it you'll you'll send the text message as this and then the individual on the other side will use their uh private key to to decrypt it so um so any questions about uh, the encryption uh qr codes it was a lot for me to learn um, I had to do, uh, I, I read, I, I, I actually watched a number of YouTube videos on blockchain and that's really how I learned about it. So, um, um, that was what I was going to cover under, uh, coins and then last but not least keys where you might want to store all of your, um, log on keys or your seed phrases. Uh, this is just a place that you could have many accounts like for Google or for Amazon or for uh, GoDaddy um, site where I'd have my login ID and password. Um, this may or may not be relevant at the time, but it's a way of keeping track of keys as well. Um, so this would list out all of my uh, personal logons for Microsoft Outlook, or whatever. So um, let's get to here. back to um and that actually <laughs> i think we go back here any questions before i begin i don't have any questions afterwards but uh that gentlemen and listeners and viewers um is my preview and i thank you very much and i open to any questions um about uh the product robert has a question he uh, he says, I think the target audience is much different for Palm Tree Web management than the cryptocurrency. Would it make more sense to break out the crypto into a different app? That's a good question, yes. And I am considering that. Um, you're, he's, he made a good point. Uh, it's mixing two together, as well as what you brought to my attention, John, you know, simplifying, you know, and taking out those other things. Maybe there's, you know, the QuickBooks or the Twilio or yeah, but the cryptocurrency, there is that, but it kind of came together and then I put it in. But yeah, um, it may turn out to be the cryptocurrency follows because there's still work to be done on that. And just knowledge I need to gain. So good question. Thank you, yes. And I, I don't see any other questions 
here. Bruce is here. I'm surprised he didn't point out any of the icons, but you you did you did qualify it right. You said you were still working on it, so yes, maybe maybe that kept him quiet. You're muted, Bruce. Uh, yeah, I was just saying I was being very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank I, you, Bruce. I think it. I think you're doing really great. I mean, you started in March, right? Yes, yes, so I did. April, May. It's, it's three months of work there, yeah. and uh, it's quite polished. Thank um, you. Yep, lots, yeah. lots, lots of coffee and uh, lots of alone time uh, working, and yeah, the lockdowns kind of help. And uh, but yeah, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. It, it is. It's. There's a lot. There's a lot there. And again, integration with all the. Um, I know that I'm using uh, Onosoft is behind there too. So, um, you know, the honeycomb and uh, analyze it. Um, so all the technologies to bring them into one place was uh, was a fun challenge. Yeah, it's kind of neat though, how much time you save, right? With, with the work of others, when you can bring it all together like that. Yeah, so yeah, I just say the templates from the gods, right? Yeah, <laughs> it'll be yours, John. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. You bet. All right. Oh yeah, and I. I oh, I do want to. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I do want to mention that uh, um, I didn't talk about uh, pricing, but I do believe uh, that I'd like to. I've had actually a, a recommendation um, um, that, uh, or yeah, he he suggested. This is uh, Jim from Mitten uh, worked on this with me, and he's just a brilliant uh, developer as well. Uh, but suggesting uh, a community edition. So um, I didn't, uh, I did show we had drag and drop. Uh, I may release a community edition, which would be free. Um, you would get it as it is. And then if you wanted to purchase uh, um, a license after that, but doing for drag and drop this way, you know, the, the Scarlet's or the people that uh, the individuals around uh, wherever, whoever would like to, to try with it, try and experiment with it, uh, use it would be, no obligation, and then uh, it would be eighty nine dollars initially uh, for a annual uh, subscription. Uh, that would be the introductory price. So um, that's what I plan on doing. So um, when you're when you're doing your subscription, is it something where the app will stop working after a year, or is it going to continue to work and it just updates? Yeah, it's that's going to continue to work. Part. You actually, yeah, you get to uh, own the license. Uh, it is uh, your license. To keep, um, I do have uh, Safe Update, which is a great uh, Capesoft product um, <clears throat> built into this application. Uh, so you will, it will, you know, wake up when you wake up your palm tree. Um, it'll go and check for updates. It'll bring it down. Um, it'll install it. <clears throat> uh, I do use File Manager three. Uh, that works great. It will rebuild your files. And, um, so you will keep the application. Um, what you get for the $89 a year, <clears throat> at least the introductory price, is those updates and all the feature enhancements that will, uh, I expect to bring out. Very good, very good. All right, anything else, Bruce? No, that's yeah. all That's all good for me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, Thank you. like you said, a lot of, lot of technologies brought together there and it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Thank I would, if, if you really wanna, um, get some feedback, just come to the open webinar and let someone else run your program yeah. <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah someone else. Yeah. Someone, someone else. else. Names shall remain unmentioned. Yeah, it will be, um, actually it will be, uh, um, I'm patching up uh, the latest uh, version, so I will have a set of builder and uh, yeah, if uh, there's interested parties that would like to play with them. I, personally, I I enjoy doing that. Giving it to I like that. I like the job. I kind of got the hint, so I will definitely uh, put something together and a setup builder. And uh, um, if you don't mind, it maybe having a few little bumps in the road. Uh, but I I really appreciate yeah. that. that. Bumps are not acceptable. Again, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, th those are good things. You get so much good feedback, and it, yeah, that see would be great. Because, I mean, you're used to just running it, right? You compile and run. You compile and yeah. run. And, yeah. and then you go to one spot and you check that and it look, looks okay. And then you go back and you try another spot. You just keep going and going. But to have someone just look at it brand new and not really know what to expect. And then right. you explain as they're going through. And then you know what you got to do for the help. And you say, oh, this could be a lot easier. It's it's invaluable. It's, it's really been great having the, having the feedback from 
from people, for me. Anyway. Can I open it up to actually anybody uh, here or anyone you know that may be uh, uh, interested in that exact same thing? You could go and email me at uh, Mark and Meijer, um, and um, I will definitely put you on the the pre-release uh, distribution and and play uh, play with it um, and give me your feedback and um, have a free copy. I think. I'd I did notice you don't have your fax number there. You might want to yeah. update that. You might want to yes. get that on there. Exactly. Yeah. But no, I'd I'd be happy to look at to help you with Thank that you. too. Thank you very much. I'll get right. I'll get back to you and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get together on that. Thank you. Cool. All right, I'm gonna stop your screen share. Here we go. What do I want here? Oh, I know what's going on. There. I think that's right. Oh, I gotta secure my screen. All right, that was very good, Mark. Thank you so much for doing that. All right. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Yeah, it was a good presentation too. And it was well thought oh, out. Wow. Very clear all the way through. Very good. Oh, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and close that. Okay, so look coming soon. And you know what? I did not get any faxes during the presentation, but you still have like 22 hours to fax me your idea. Mm -hmm. And actually I will, I got one fax and it was from the people I signed up to get the free fax number from, and they wanted me to get a permanent number and they wanted to charge me $16 a month. And that's not gonna happen because I'm not gonna spend $16 a month on a fax number. So you have 22 hours. If you wanna go that way, if that's what you've been waiting for to do your own presentation. Which, yeah. If that's, that's what's been holding you back. Now, <laughs> that's been holding uh, you back. We got it now. Am I spotlighted? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, for some reason I was spotlighted. Um, 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 um. So this is for, let's see if I can pick the right one here. For Mark. Yay! <laughs> Great. There Thanks. you go. All right, you're good. Okay. All right, with that, I believe we're done right yeah um, Andy has canceled his webinar for Monday so you can do other things and with that I will get us to the ending yay Woo! That. yay uh, here yay <laughs> <laughs> the end is coming all right let's uh, do, do, do. there's the end thing there okay we're ready thanks everybody have a great weekend and thanks again, Mark. We'll see you guys next week. Three waves. Is that one, two, third nice. wave? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.